I think it's a, a great pleasure. And nice to see both uh, Jasper as well as Jim and, of course, the inaugural Creator World. Um, so they basically asked me as uh, Infocom and Media Development Authority, which really looks at the entire creative economy, just to come up here and say a few words. And again, it's a great pleasure to see everybody at the inaugural Creator World and a pleasure to be here this morning. Um, just a few thoughts. Um, we really do think that the creative economy presents significant potential for Singapore. Um, some estimates are that in about a decade, that creator economy is expected to grow into a trillion dollar industry. And in Singapore, the estimates are that it's going to grow annually at more than 18%, which far outstrips that global growth in the rest of the world. Um, as we were thinking about it, there are perhaps a few reasons for this. First, of course, all of you here, creators are at the heart of that creative economy. And we are well-placed, we are cosmopolitan, it's easy to come in. The content draws from our very diverse backgrounds, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, many diverse perspectives while the themes are universal. And the ability to appeal internationally, be in terms of language, be in terms of context, and to grow that, grow that global audience and that reach of your content. Second, I think more than three quarters of the creator's revenue comes from big brands. And Singapore is in a unique position to grow this revenue because it is the home of the Asia Pacific HQ of many of these major brands that do make the marketing decisions for the rest of Southeast Asia. And they spend anything from between 30 to 40% of their marketing budgets on influencer marketing. And this is expected to grow. This critical mass really benefits our creators. Um, one of our homegrown boys, Ming Wei, uh, for example, who has more than 22 million followers on TikTok from around the globe, has secured branded deals with Nandos and Warner Music Asia. So while we think the sort of the tailwinds and there are good ingredients as far as the creative economy here in Singapore is concerned, we also think that there's scope to grow core capabilities. I think last year, we announced the launch of a pilot program. And the intent is really to curate efforts to help creators grow and scale in perhaps three ways. First, as they always say, content is king. And we've helped our creators develop that content strategy through network partners, uh, being sort of creators being coached on how to hone their brand personality in, of course, a very authentic way, and connecting that content to target audiences. They learned how to create multicultural content, basics of video editing, photography. And for example, working with partners, YouTube um, provided practical experience under understanding platform uh, analytics. Another homegrown uh, creator, Patrine Chu, who is actually a financial advisor and does this on the side, equipped her with a much better understanding of platform algorithms. And she has since amassed close to 170,000 new followers by using Instagram Reels. So first, content. Second, helping creators understand how to monetize that content and diversify their revenue. We connected um, creators with various influential agencies, and this provides mentorship. Um, another homegrown, Haley, uh, who is actually a fitness creator with Closet, has also gained um, many new followers on her Instagram channel and has secured brand partnerships with Disney Plus and Sketches as a result of this program. And I think due to the, as a result of the hard work for both Jasper as well as Jim, as part of this Creator World Marketing Summit, there is a dedicated track to help creators learn from brands ranging from Sephora and so on, on what they actually look out for in their creators. And following these briefings, uh, there will be a chance to make pitches to these brands. And Creator World has also provided a separate Pitch Perfect Bootcamp devoted to teaching brand new and aspiring creators how to work with brands and their agencies. So lastly, building a fan base and a community. I think from the point of view of brands, um, the core connection between the creator and your community reflects the true value of that relationship that can be tapped. And to enable creators to learn about that community building and fan engagement, that program has also included learning from others, uh, both from here as well as overseas, creators such as Emmy Wong, J. Lu, Andrea King. So in very quick conclusion, 
I think and we think that the creator ecosystem is extremely important. And other than growing a pipeline of uh, local creators that can scale internationally, we're also hoping to grow the ecosystem players here, you know, global influencers from NAS to agencies such as Jelly Smack, and even the third-party platform analytics platform such as Tubular. And we try and grow and attract the best of that creator economy to thicken that critical mass that's within Singapore. So I think I'm really excited by what lies ahead. I think we're just starting. There's a lot of potential. And Creator World presents an excellent opportunity for all of you creators to network, showcase your unique content, personalities, and of course, connect with brands. And I look forward to hearing many more unique and exciting content and collaborations from everybody here. So thank you very much. Much, Mr. Mr. Luchu and Hong, that was great. I appreciate it. One thing I actually just learned, which made me feel better, is he went to Stanford, which is like right down the street from where I live. So it's so nice to have somebody who's got some Bay Area experience. So I think we have some destiny because I must have driven past his home many times without realizing that that was Jim. So the next time I'm back, I'm going to have to visit. Next time you're back, I'm taking you surfing. That's, that's so there, all right. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for supporting us. And thanks for letting us um, be the ones to help kick off the uh, IMDA. The, um, good luck with the IMDA over the next what, two weeks, week and a half? And uh, I'm sure it's gonna be amazing, you're gonna be busy, so thanks for gracing us. One more time, thank you very much, really appreciate it. And we are going to move on.